If you've ever been curious about those little cheap things from China to digitize your cassettes that they sell on eBay, here's your chance to see one without buying one. I got curious and decided to buy one. The brand on this is listed as Digit Now on the box, but I've also seen the exact same thing listed as We Record and Asan Tape Converter. So, take your pick. Just a plain cardboard box with the uh, unit and uh, USB power cord and uh, headphones and an instruction manual. Instruction manual is in fairly good English, not perfect, but I uh, can't complain really. Digitnow.net does not exist except as a weird site that I can't really make sense out of. I did find it as digitnow.us, um, but I couldn't find any real support for it. So uh, turning it on. Turning the volume down there. And uh, that shows the volumes at zero. There'll also be that nine is the uh, sort of preset of the FM radio station you can get. When you first turn it on, you can press search to scan for all the channels. And I usually get about 30. And you can go up and down the channels. Um, so, and it has good gain. Now, if I had a uh, SD card in or a thumb drive, it would default to that when you turn it on. It defaults to the uh, two media cards. You have your volume, headphone jack, slot for your micro SD card, and a spot for your thumb drive. Then you have a mic because you can also use this as a voice recorder. Uh, the thing's very light, only weighs eight ounces. You have your record button and uh, source to go through your thumb drive, SD card, radio, and tape player. And let's see, you can repeat when you're playing something back, you can go one or all, and that searches for your radio station or pauses your playback. You have a, a three volt jack on the bottom. This came with two AA batteries installed. Not much there. The only little sign here is a digit now, a little thing put on cockeyed. And you actually have sort of a nice little touch there. A little trimmer for your tape speed. So let's put a uh, SD card in here. I know that this has something on it already. And it should switch to that. So it's playing from the SD card now. Track one. And of course your seconds are on the left. And then go through my source. Go back to the radio. And if I went to and go to tape, now as soon as you put on tape it starts counting seconds. But it won't go to 59 seconds and then turn over to a minute. It will count all the way up to 99 seconds. And here's the inside. Uh, it's a 4 ohm 1 watt speaker. You have your tape controls over here. And let's see here. You can put that in pause. I'm going to take the SD card out because anything I do today I want to do on a thumb drive. It's easier to put in the uh, computer and get things off of it. We're back on the radio now. Let's see. Go to that for source.
Now we're recording off the radio. Indies classic rock. Rock and roll. Am I right? Q95. We'll stop it. And notice it plays back instantly. Indies classic rock. Rock and roll. Um. Let's go back to the uh, radio station. Find another one. Why I think it'll be a great mirror. Put me in town out, shouldn't I? You need it. That you know is not gonna run his mouth. You need help. When he done probably gonna put you out. You need that's gonna be so big it's like a foot is in your mouth. Yeah, all right now we're recording track two. I don't know why it's clicking like that. Yeah, it's still recording track two. So we'll stop. I said we'll stop. And it starts playing back immediately, the last track. Now I can have it play back one or all. I can pause it. Then I can press record. Now we're recording track three, but we're using the uh, microphone and the voice recorder function. So, um, it does have a voice recorder. I'm not sure how many people would use it, but. Now we're recording track three, but we're using the uh, microphone and the voice recorder function. So, playback one or playback all. Tape for a minute. We'll try that. Let's see here. What kind of tape do I have I can play? It's kind of hard to get the tapes in because one of the guides is up here and one of the guides is way down there. You have to kind of put it in a little cattywampus here. doesn't have as good a game on the tape playback, but we can record it. The thing here is designed really to, as it says, digitize your old cassette tapes, but you'll notice there's nothing on here that says stereo. Now we're playing that back already. Let's see how that little trimmer works. Well, it does. That's kind of an interesting feature for such a low end unit. I'm not sure I set it right there, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. But let's, uh, Pull the thumb out and put it on a computer and see what these files look like. All right, we got the thumb drive in. Let's uh, check out what the properties are here of these files. So it's recording them at 128 kbps. Let's open up Audacity here and see what we can find. What's number one? It's got two tracks on it, but it certainly doesn't look much different. There's a little differences. You know, some some places around here.
but not a lot. Let's look at the next track. mono on two tracks. Does have a voice recorder? I'm not sure how many people would use it, but... What about the uh, cassette tape function? How does that sound on playback? Some differences in track volume here. It looks like left track is much more dominant. All right, one more thing I want to do. Try the uh, output with the speakers here on computer speakers. USB thumb drive and SD card digitizing cassette player with FM radio and voice recorder from uh, eBay. You see these things marketed as a lot of different names, but uh, they're very inexpensive with a uh, little inexpensive speaker. But on the other hand, it did do everything it said it would do. It can record voices, it can record the radio, it can record off the cassette player. Um, doesn't do any of it very well, particularly listening through the speaker, the audio is so tinny. Um, stereo separation doesn't be very good at all on your recording, so I don't think you'd want to use this to actually digitize all of your old cassette tapes. But it's not a total fail. I don't know what that 88 or was that a BB for bye bye means when it signs off. But there you go. If you're ever curious about such things, now you've seen one. Hope you got some use out of it. Thanks for watching. Bye.